What's going on YouTubers? This is MoparMan1978 out here uh, messing around with the Valiant again today after I uh, took a trip to Springfield uh, met up with my uh, Mopar buddy Steve and um, didn't get a chance to hang out with uh, our buddy Aaron he was sick today um, but anyway Aaron if you're watching this hope you get better but anyway um, been working on the uh, dog dish hubcaps for the Valiant and the emblems. Um, I know it's uh, we don't have very much sun out right now. We got clouds coming in. Look like it's gonna rain. Yada yada yada. Anyway, wanted to show you what I've been doing so far. Um, I got this side taped off, and I've been painting a couple layers of the red anodized. For the Valiant Emblems. If you can see that, let me, uh, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't really do wonders. Sunlight would help it out here better, but anyway, here's the uh, bigger one. Just got to let that cure for a couple more days. Now I'm going to start on the other side, the blue. Um, and here is the uh, dog dish covers. I got the, all these, um, little rectangular sections painted uh, industrial gloss black from what I showed you the last video and then um, I had to actually take a fine tip brush and the red anodized puts on a good coat so it doesn't take very many layers to fill in the triangle um, but the blue is pretty light so you gotta Put a thin coat on, wait two or three days, come back and put another heavy coat on, which you can see here I did. I got a real good coat on it today before the sun went down. Um, still have to come in and, there we go. See where the, the um, polished uh, metal makes kind of an outline around the uh, triangle here. Um, kind of got a little carried away and a, couple, a little bit of dab of paint touched up on the sides. Um, I got to fix this one. I got to bring a real fine tip hobby brush and come in here and trim this edge up on this gloss black. Um, this one's a little bit worse over here. You can see it's kind of splotchy. Um, pain in the ass to do it because you got to be able to do this pretty quick if you're doing it outside, especially if there's a little bit of a breeze. It likes to start to cure that paint so you got to put it on thick and, and brush it out quick but anyway I'm gonna let these cure really good for two or three days if we got another nice day because it looks like we might have got some rain for the next day or two but anyway um i'll come back in here with my exacto blade and be real careful and go along that seam with the exacto blade and then come in here and pick off these little pieces of um, where the brush accidentally bumped the sides. Do that. Um, on these, once I get both sides taped off and finished painting, they're fully cured. I got to come in here. I got a couple of uh, factory photos of where the, blo the gloss black needs to be painted on the trim. I got that to do. And eventually, I'll come in here. And I'll get around this trim here and get the uh, letters painted uh, gloss black on that. But uh, for now, like I said, once I get these all done, um, I might mask this whole thing off and then cut out a section here just above the black paint and then give this whole thing a clear coat. Um, haven't decided yet. I'd probably do the center. The sides are not that really important. Um, they're just, you really can't get any good clear masking. They also call it frisk, um, in the, uh, art and, um, auto body world. It's a clear, uh, masking stuff with a very light adhesive on there so it don't peel the paint off. But, um, anyway, that's what I've been doing. When I was at Springfield today, I also got the, uh, 
drive shaft, the 70s drive shaft for this. Since I already have the 70s 904 automatic. And um, just some odds and ends. Um, yeah, so anyway. It's going to be a pretty short video, but anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you. And eventually, i got to get these letters and the 200 uh, painted black as well. Um, got to go back over this car. Um, any of these little rust spots or surface spots, rust surface spots, I should say. I've been hitting with the uh, uh, Q-tip. Uh, with the uh, rust converter and uh, eventually uh, what I might end up doing is I'd like to leave it factory color but I might depending on I might do I might find a nice spray can almond color or tan color or beige like that matches this and I might just start doing a one panel at a time but that might be next summer starting next summer I might do something like that maybe I don't know yet but I want to at least touch up these surface rust spots and to get that taken care of before it turns into actual cancer spots. Uh, I got to paint these two. Got to paint inside the uh, the letters black. So just some odds and ends. Anyway, until next time, stay tuned for more videos.